Let's play deck. Hi, this is Cribs. My name is Rubik, and we're going to be exploring my crib today. So Step right, right off the back in the foyer, we've got the double staircases. This is where I hold all my sick house parties. You know, I keep the DJ up on the balcony. Um, we got a map fragment over here. It's, that was an accident. I was really just trying to open that door. I keep all my doors locked. I don't, I don't like a lot of light in my crib. You know how it is. You know how it goes. I like my privacy. Don't don't try peeping on the roof, Vic. Hold on. I like to smash all my furniture. I need. To <laughs> Is Sebastian the one showing the house? I like to keep all my gun bullets in the furniture. I need to see what's up here. It's probably just more locked doors, but I just want to see. <clears throat> Laura, Rubik's like, here's my house, but I don't actually want you to look around it this time. Don't. There's no. You've already been here, so just keep moving. It's traumatic enough the first time. You're mine now, even though you aren't acting like anyone else that's ever been put in my machine. You're clearly immune to the effects and uh, going to stop my plans. But no, trust me, I'm in control. <laughs> trust me. I'm not immune to the effects. Maybe a little bit. Well, because Joseph going through the machine became like this, like depressed, like. Dissociative. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I'm not, I'm not really feeling that, so I'm, I guess. And I'm, you're just like, we gotta get out of I here. I guess I'm kind of immune to that yeah. aspect of it. I'm pretty sure that's what this machine is supposed to do. It's supposed to like break down your will so that Ruvik can you give in to Ruvik, so that Ruvik can just make you one of his pawns. I guess. Is this what I think it is? No, it's not. He just turns around and walks away. Still not where I think it is, but I know what's happening at Doc. the end of this cutscene. You're gonna what shoot the Doc. What do you think you're doing? Trying to save us? Really? Because it looks like you're making another monster to me. I don't have time for this, Detective. You have no idea what you're talking about. I am clearly the doctor. I, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what this machine is. I do. I'm going to save us. That's... What, to the real world? He survived being linked to I guess so. Yeah. The only patient ever, as far as I know. Wonderful. Well, I'm gonna what be the second. to do with any of this? He's our way out, detective. Our only way back. Oh. <laughs> Why did you do that? How does this help anybody? Is it? They're gonna put Leslie in control. Yeah! That's that's, that's... that's the real world. That's the machine. That's the actual machine. I don't think you're supposed to know this, but it's actually called STEM, I believe. It's some sort of acronym, I don't know. But you're all in that tank, right? Well, it doesn't show us, but we can guess. Overloaded. You're all in, in those tanks that are rung around the thing. Leslie, are you all right? It should have. Why didn't it? It did for a second. It didn't because of this. Leslie. <laughs> it just, you can't, there's no words. And this always the same thing as us. confused me. He, he wants out. What that? No, just that that scene. Like how much of like just what? an idiot. Doc Ruvik. I mean, not Doc Ru Doc Jimenez just was. Anyway, welcome to this parking garage. Wait, that big, uh, terrible monstrosity wants out of the machine? That's what the doctor thinks. I I think what he thinks is that those people or whatever are still like salvageable like they're still trying to get out of the machine that's his perspective i guess or it could be that but it's still I, i'm pretty sure he just doesn't take into account that they're like consumed by rubik or whatever okay dude jesus he doesn't take into account that uh, okay is there wow a you didn't even need to look in the mirror yeah hold on Breaking it's one word. STEM terminal? Oh, now you know. Never thought he'd go that far. 
Wait, Stem? Oh, he must be close if he's severing ties with the past. All he has left is his connection to the present. The full Stem in the hospital. Hospital? Beacon Mental Hospital? And that's where he'll be. Waiting for him. If somebody doesn't get there first, there'll be no way out for anyone. <laughs> I love that guy. All right, so um, wow, I guess uh, point taken. Get right, to me, Beacon Mo Mental Hospital. Yeah, let me just get my first point out of the way. Uh, Doc isn't taking into account that those bodies are like non-salvageable anymore. They're not even coherent. They're taken over by Ruvik, probably. I haven't known a lot about you. Okay, yeah. that's not a nursey I'd, thing to say. I'd believe it. Um, and then that's why the thing attacked. Oh. Dr. Marcelo Jimenez, his chief of staff of Beacon Mental Hospital, last seen in his office where he made a number of telephone calls. Okay, so then, now this guy. Investigation uncovers irregularities in mental hospital. Situation more complex than thought. Internal audit at Be Beacon, Me Beacon Mental Hospital suggests ba patients missing. Chief of Staff Mar Marcelo Jimenez cites clerical errors. Ex-patient traumatized. Crimson City smog getting worse. <laughs> Doll collection brings in millions. Nice. Woman dies in lawnmower accident. Oh, no. Situation more complex than thought. That, that's, that's one of the headlines. What situation? Yeah. I think the Beacon Mental Hospital one. Yeah. But woman dies in lawnmower accident. That's what I'm more concerned about. Yeah, some point break shit. Ugh. Or almost. Point break, what, she tried to surf with a lawnmower? No, 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 remember the scene where they, the oh, dudes, yeah. oh, the yeah, dudes yeah, are, yeah. like, about to lawnmower Jesus each other? Jesus Christ. And it, it never happens, but it gets so close. You're like, oh, no, please. I thought you meant she was, like, trying to do extreme sports on one <laughs> of the rideable. <laughs> yeah, just to fight the man. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade anything, but we'll see. Yeah, so it, wait, is what do we agree on what happened during that cutscene? What do you think the doc was I think he's right on some level. I think they are definitely take I think all the monsters are probably some kind of They once were like coherent or, people or at least some of the 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 like more basic monsters were once like people that got put into stem yeah. Obviously, the Keeper and Laura and all, all the more freakish monsters are um, based on memories of his. But um, that particular monster is clearly made up of a couple hundreds, like a couple of different like people stitched together. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that monster came to be or um, anything. Uh, and I think... It might be that they're clinging on to some kind of conscious desire to escape by, you know, that they're just they're just completely out of it, and so they attack people on sight and things like that. But I think also maybe maybe Ruvik has a way to, or has is working on a way to materialize like the nightmares that he has conjured in his mind. Maybe he's figured out a way to use STEM to, like, materialize them into the real world. Like Laura. Like Laura? Or, like, that thing? Yeah. That thing is called Amalgam. That's all I know about it. Thing sucks. Yeah. Because it, it's an amalgam of disgusting things. I don't remember an effective strategy against this man, but... Oh, there he is. He's certainly doing it. But I think I might employ the use of some freeze bolts as well as some rifles. I know what you should do. Run the fuck away. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the end of this, the other end of this room without some trouble, so let me just, uh... <laughs> let me just see what I got. You should run the fuck away. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I don't have any gears. Fuck, I use them all on... Well, I can use shock. That's not too bad. All right. Dental amalgam is liquid happens. mercury and metal alloy mixture used to fill cavities caused by tooth decay. 
Oh no, okay. So I just got some gears. Let's see what we can do here. I can... Uh, fuck, still can't make a freeze. How many do you have? Three? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to try one of these. Might as well. Take what you can get. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be mostly rifles in here, though. Is this the final boss? <laughs> yeah, he knows. You think he knows? He has I an like idea. I like that there's, like, one, like, wimp corpse hanging out, like, <laughs> under him. Like, not doing anything, just, like, this, like, third wheel. I can't believe I only have one X in your room. No, it's leave time. One X? What are you talking about? I don't have three G I have one X. Oh. Which is Oh, yeah, worse. I don't know. Well, reception in the house isn't really that great. Damn. Especially on the first floor. It's better on my phone if you wanna look stuff up on that. Hold on. Gimme 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 gimme. Okay. What's the game plan here? Gonna grab those shotgun shells, probably run that way. Fuck. Really? Okay. Not gonna grab it at all then. <laughs> I love the sign. The sign above though, it said one way. <laughs> yeah. There's only one way you're going here. And it's wow. straight down. Ooh, that thing just rammed the fuck out of you. Yeah, he's not pleased. Shit. Let's snuff out that light. Oh, do you have to stealth it? Yeah, you have to stealth it, my friend. Well, you don't have to, but you can. See, he's got his little, his oh, little eyeball. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yep. But it's very difficult to shoot, unfortunately. Well, because it's so twitchy. Yeah. It's the one thing I hate about this guy. You'd think he wouldn't be difficult to shoot at. But it turns out... Do you need to shoot the eye? You don't need to, but it does massive damage if you do. Wait, you can kill this thing? I oh, thought yeah. you just had to avoid it. No, yeah, that's the point, is you kill it. Um, the thing is, you only need to... Sh if you hit his eye, you, don't, you only need to do it like once or twice to really lay it on him. Whew. Okay, there's one. I think at some point he doesn't give a fuck. Or is he still searching? What do you mean, doesn't give a fuck? Like, he, like he'll like he find me anyway. Like, he just gets so mad, he just starts banging the place up. Damn. I think. That's what I thought, anyway. We'll see if he keeps searching. If he does, that'll be fantastic. Because I've never beaten him this way before. Okay, so apparently... The reason the amalgam showed up. Oh yeah, he's bringing out his eye again. Okay. The reason the amalgam showed up in uh, when it did while uh, while uh, Leslie was being. I think you got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh shit! Oh no no no! I think he fakes it. Yeah yeah, he totally does. Yeah, he's not dead. Okay. I think the he reason the amalgam showed up is because uh, Ruvik got pissed that you were trying to like he sensed that you were. You had found a way to escape through Leslie. Oh, and that's why he sent him out? Yeah, and that's why he summoned him there. But, um... The Amalgam Alpha, which is this thing, is a physical manifestation of the final consciousness of test subjects who died while connected to the stem, combined into one horrific uh, shape. So, yeah, this thing is like people who were connected to STEM who died. Yeah, okay. And that's why it wants to, and that's why he said it wants to escape. Because he was like, oh, I must want to escape, because it's them. But it's not them. It's so I guess he was not them anymore. Yeah. No, this thing does not want to escape. This thing wants to kill the shit out of you. This is a very different, I, very different boss fight if he sees you. I'm, I'm sure. look that up later. I'm sure it's loud. Fuck. Nope. Okay. Still now? Still now. Do it. 
Oh, Ooh, shit. He's so close. He swung He can't him. hear, but he can see. Yeah, that's actually really beneficial. Thank you. <laughs> well, obviously he can't. I'm sorry if this is boring to watch. I'm no, just trying I mean, to. I'm on. I'm on edge. I'm just trying to like do like this, this as well as I can, not and like take my time. All right with this. I'm assuming the music is not this if the thing sees you. I think you got him. Yeah, you got him. But I don't know if it's the time. I think he. Yeah, he might take one, a couple more hits. We've got five more shots. Six, Six more. more shots. It's a good thing I never use this rifle. It comes in handy now. So what's this boss fight like if he sees you? Oh, he just rushes you. Like, you can't even run away. And you just have to, like, hide the best you can behind, like, columns and stuff. This place is also and littered... And shoot him when you can. Yeah, this place is also littered with ammo. Or, like, shotguns I remember a lot of. The nice thing is that... When you kill him, you don't have to, like, automatically leave in a cutscene. Uh, so you can collect it all. Whew. That's a place he's never been before. Whoa! Eyeball. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to shoot him when he's looking that way. What's he looking for? Oh, no! He's not pleased with my presence. That's large. Very large, very in charge. Oh, why didn't that do it? You missed, I'm afraid. I can't believe. You gotta hide. Why would any of that miss? Whoa, what? I'm what? not actually sure. Oh, I think this is what he does at, like, the 11th hour. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's pissed off of you hiding. So and then you have like, a different, you have a different thing to shoot. Yeah, there's an eyeball in that ribcage. Yeah. There's a motherfucking Resident Evil 4 eyeball in that ribcage. Not in there. There's no one in there, man. I like that he like stands up on his weird hind legs. Oh, come on. You can't tell me that wasn't a hit. <laughs> he's not. He's like, where the fuck are you? I don't even know. Yeah, now he doesn't know where I am. There's that eyeball. There's that car that he threw at you. I think you had to wait for it to open like that, yeah. You shot off that corpse's head. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, he's not happy about that. He's not feeling it. Take a moment. Just cool it. Oh, it's only open for a second. Yeah, it's very brief. Is that it? Is that it for Maybe. you? No, no it's he's not. still flipping around. That's it. There he goes. The first, not the last. But it is the last. I'm not I'm not gonna fight the the amalgam again. Oh, Yes, what I know what fucking I know, mean. I know where first, to go now. Not the last. It's what? not the first thing you've killed. What? It's not the last thing you'll kill, but it's not the first thing either. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, all things said, I think that went reasonably well. I only got hit like once. Yeah. I'd say you uh you really gave him a run for his money. I really gave him that uh rifle to the eyeball. Say good night. <laughs> you can hide under that car. Yeah, but then you can't aim at him. And also he'll crush you. Yeah, that's a very bad idea. Don't do that if you're playing this game. Don't do that. Just do what I did. Don't fuck up like I did. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. Uh, what happens if you go... You can go into this room here. And he'll smash the fuck out the room. He will grab you. It doesn't matter where you are in the room. You could be in this far corner. He will reach in and grab you. Slam you on all the walls take, like, half your health. You cannot hide. No hiding. Once he sees you. Once he sees you? He'll fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he will. <laughs> he will take multiple a multitude of his appendages and fuck you. Oh, You'll man. die. That's a shame. That room had more ammo. He'll punch you. Whatever. 
He'll punch it hard. Very hard. <laughs> okay. Ah, Jack, God. Damn it. Ow. Ah. Am I bleeding? Ow. God. Ooh, I think I'm bleeding. You hit, ah. you hit me in the mouth. God. We're just about approaching the end of this episode, but... The end of this game. I think it's also the end of the chapter. Perfect. Chapter 10, clean. On chapter 11. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Friends, we're getting there. We're getting there. You and me. Together. Forever.